Greetings everyone, here's Ludwig and this is the game Strategic Command World War 1. This is my mm, play against AI, single player game. And this will be now already turn number 11. So, the turn of April 1915. The AI have a little get additional money and uh, bonus experience so that they are not too weak. Of course, uh, it's never so good luck if you play a uh, human opponent. So, but for training purpose, it is okay. And it looks like that maybe next weekend, so maybe in one week, I can start a play by email match against one of our old uh, members in the chat of Discord from um, Jochen. So we will see next week maybe we have the first start of this new campaign. Good, this is now first the beginning of this turn. Last time the AI heavy cruiser here or pre dreadnought one and one of my submarines. So this will be no normally a easy picking because my sub have no more or less now the sneak attack bonus. Uh, only two damage. And I also can more or less use this submarine to scout around. And maybe find some ship. Oh, eh? Oh, looks like he has no ship. Uh So I'm. This is my seaplane tender. I'm at recon and bomb. So I could fly here and bomb the ship to get some experience for my pilots. And then better return. And my destroyer can maybe finish off this dreadnought. A little damage, but it's okay. And then also return. The problem is now where is the enemy fleet? So I use now my destroyer to maybe scout here. Oh, enemy mines. Oh. Okay, so now the ship is damaged. And it's better already to turn around. Don't want to waste and risk it too much. So then my other destroyer must try to find but there is nothing ah here is the enemy ship and the enemy dreadnought Ooh, this is heavy Orion so this means I must use my own heavy units now maybe I use first my Submarine to try to attack from behind. Ah, he's the other dreadnought. Iron Duke. Okay. Uh. And here's an enemy light cruiser I could attack. It's like this. I don't know. The light cruiser have no. No sub attack and no sub defense. Now. Later you can upgrade light cruisers also for sub hunting. But uh, early on it looks like they have no equipment. Oh, okay. I can try. Little damage. And then I try to escape. This sub is super damage already. So I only can try to. Uh, how I can come back. I need a port. I think I wait here. Ah, here's bad weather. Here's still good weather. Good. So I try to use ships, can take them damage. 
So I first check my own red knot attack. Oh, also receive a lot of damage on my own. Go in and finish off the ship. Ah, luckily, only minimum damage for me in this case. So, oh, and the second red knot I can also attack. Ah, I run another one. Hmm. And one more. Oh yeah. Okay, where's my battle cruisers? Okay, here's my battle cruiser. Then you must finish this job. Okay, this was successful. I have one more battle cruiser. I'm a cruiser. I'm a cruiser. Ah, light cruiser. Pre dreadnought. Oh, how was a pre dreadnought against a dreadnought? I don't know. I don't think it's so good, but I must. Eh? Oh, here's an enemy destroyer. Good, and I take the enemy destroyer. Out of range? So I. Enemy mines! Oh no. Better return. Ah, here's a second battle cooler. So I use first my own. Oops. Free dirt not to finish this, uh, this destroyer. Nearly. Nearly. And give some cover for my damaged ships. So at least this this dreadnought I won't save and protect. And now I can maybe try to hit with my armored cruiser. Mm, can I do this? Ooh, I take heavy damage. Oh, but it's acceptable. So then my destroyer can go in for the kill. Oh, failed. No hit. I don't know, sometimes this happens. There's an automatic move and I don't know exactly why. Okay, then my battle cruiser must go in. What is this? This is an enemy battle cruiser. Oh shit. So my destroyer is more or less lost, I think. So I could go in with my light cruiser. Maybe the light cruiser can finish the ship. Yeah. Then retreat. My battle cruiser against the enemy battle cruiser. Oh, more ships. Hmm, this was not exactly what I was hoping for. I don't know why all of the British fleet is now here. Yeah. Uh, losing light cruisers and destroyers is normally not so important. My battle cruiser is a little pity. But. I sunk a lot of British ships also, and uh, at least these two uh, pre-dreadnoughts are also normally more or less out of action. So the British have one battle cruiser and one dreadnought for sure here, 
Yeah, the question is how far away is the rest of the fleet? I don't know. I will see soon. But the, this was a whole German fleet in action here. Good. Let's see. Uh, this submarine is out of supplies, so... Uh, I know we must come close to my own port. I don't know if it's working if I come close to my port. So I first try to... Uh, enemy destroyers here. Bad. Good. Navy activity is over first. He was a French submarine, okay. Then let's first fix my submarine. And here is a new submarine. This can maybe go out for... To cover my retreating fleet. Maybe here. So that I can save my dreadnought. I really only care dreadnoughts and battle cruisers and submarines. This is for Germany the most important equipment. Pre-dreadnoughts, no one need more. Armored cruiser, no one need more. Light cruisers, pff, maybe, but not really it's too much. Uh, I could go here. Maybe I can save the light cruiser. Maybe we'll see. More is not possible here, I think. No, okay. So, Western Front. We have already good weather, dry, summer weather. So, first check. This guy commands this unit, okay. Detach. I cannot attach. So I give this away, then you can take this one. Change it. Uh, yeah, I must attack here. Problem is only that my. I have no space to really maneuver here around. First I scout, then I attack, and I really cannot fall back, no space, <laughs> too crowded here, Enemy port is empty. <sighs> no. So maybe attacking the cavalry and finish them off. too strong to attack here. Then I reinforce only my units. So maybe next turn then I have more power to attack. My fighter is also here, but not connected to any HQ so far. <sighs> I maybe need one more H HQ. And here's the source, maybe here's something. Uh, not 
so good also better save for another day Mm, 185 still. So this HQ had not really too much to do. Only a half star. One star. Two star. And one and a half star. So it's clear to see that here in the central north part is much more fighting. Hmm. I think I keep it like this. Not really much more to do. Austria. Hmm. Dig in. That is already digged in. Uh, next turn they can... Dig in. I hope I have one more turn. Oh, wait. Maybe I better do this. And entrenchment. Also entrenchment here. Here is this, because this is a fortress city. You cannot entrench if you're already in a fortified town. It's automatically give you the max entrenchment of your technology. Good. Uh, my submarine can normally try to hunt here a little more. The problem is now every hex is next to a port and a port enemy destroyers can lure. Uh, I can try. Now this port is empty. But normally the port will give, uh, I think, uh, scouting information next to it. Um, hmm. So normally the enemy will know that there's a submarine here. Oh, yeah. hmm, first I try to finish this. Reinforce my artillery is maybe most important. Here you can see that this artillery only have a maximum capacity of five shells. Um, but now I increase the numbers to max eight points. I'm not sure if this also will change now. So similar to German with maximum seven shells. Oh, it's related to technology. This they change many times and I'm not more sure what is now the actual rule. Important is now that I make a mistake. I could normally first detach the artillery. Mm. Maybe I strike here first. Then fall back. Oof. I can ah, still connected to this one. Okay. Then I can attack. Failure. And disconnect to a ah, wait. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Uh, this was a corp from Montenegro, not from Serbia. So it was related to this or connected to this HQ. This is also Montenegro and not Serbia. The flag is a little different. Uh, uh, 
Yeah, I'm just gonna feed that. And this is not that. Yeah, I think this is enough. What else? I can invest a little money in the navy for Austria. Armored cruiser. Hmm. Oh yeah, maybe I can reinforce the cruisers. So the rest must wait. This is done. Then the Russian front, the most successful operation maybe for Austria so far. Uh, the scouting. Then taking. Okay, also broken. And here, I could also take yes. Some casualties, but still acceptable. Uh, maybe the cavalry. Yeah. Fall back. Um, detach, attach. Okay. Kill them. Okay. Back, fall back. Mm, successful. Uh, but I still cannot exploit my victory because I cannot come behind the enemy. There's still too many troops. But it looks that the, mm, well, the big first push of the Russian army is uh, first stopped. Good. Can uh. hmm. <laughs> take from behind. Yes. Not so successful. Oh. Hey, okay. No, can okay. hey, I hope this unit is now so damaged that maybe a German unit can attack. Could use maybe the infantry here, but here I could attack this uh, detachment. Uh, maybe with the cavalry striking. Fall back. Now the detachment is not so important for me now. So I better finish the corp. Good. Stay here. Block. So artillery, I must upgrade first. And it looks like that is technology. Is this really different? Technology, research. Germany have uh, mm, normally no technology for hmm. maybe not sure why the Germans have seven shells and the Austrian only five. Yeah. Good. Uh, detach this one, attach this one. 
move forward. So, tick. So stubborn. Mm. Okay, then the cover it. Oh, fine, good. Um, block force can move forward. With inventory also. Entrenchment. Wait, wait, wait. Four. No. Then I move here. Entrench. Forward. Ah, the river. The the Russians are behind the river. This is very hard to attack in this direction. I think I. Try to pressure them. Oh, this was a mistake. Now oh, we cannot attach. Russia is already close by, but the Russians still have here a good strong defense and then they have the river and then they have the next river so they can always fall back and always use the river normally to their advantage to try to defend. Uh, yeah, okay, so this makes sense, oh, still high casualties for me. Uh, I never have enough HQ support. Still don't want that. Okay. Shit. Back position, back in position. Maximum damage, only that the enemy is not strong enough to attack me. Not really to achieve it too much. Also to give my HQ a more bonus so that I get stronger in the long run. Hmm. Maybe reinforcement. More oh, is not possible, no. So, Germans. Austrians, Italy is still not in the war, not now, but maybe soon. Navy was so so only for me. I mean, I sunk something, but could be better. Austria is done, so now it's only Ottoman. So, she's still the Ottoman Navy. Ah, uh, I first fixed with the cruiser. Like cruisers here in protection mode. I better change the position of my radars. Okay. Uh, the Egypt front line. Semi automatic.
take the British, staying in the desert. Connect this one, I connect this one. Ah, they can fall back. But I can also attack. Simply, I mean, we are both out of supplies, but in this case, the British have only supply level 2 and the Ostermans level 3. So. Fall back and use this troop. And I get no morale bonus because the unit is in less than 5 supply. Good. This unit is uh, also low on supply, so I may be better for simply back. I normally not must take the city. I could also wait here for them to come to me. The, the really good supply route is first in Cairo. Everything behind Cairo is not really good supply. The same for me is Jerusalem. Uh, so I could simply say, oh, I don't really must defend the city. It gives a little MPP points, but no moral value. So it's okay. We try, try to take it again. I better fall back and have better supplies. Four only. And then I fall back. I have at least five. Five is better than four. Uh, this unit can ref refresh and yeah, it's fine. Ah, the second HQ is coming. Uh, walking down. It's okay. So I must hold this city for sure. Normally, normally, this is a corp, it's a lead corp. I give you lead. No, this unit must stay in Constantinople. You better reinforce. Yeah, Ottoman eat Russian front line is uh, uh, I must first reinforce my HQs, but I don't have more any money. Oops, my mistake. Uh, reinforce here. And then I better fall back. Stay in the city. And getting more supplies. This is level seven. Mm. Seven, seven. Seven, seven, oh yeah. This HQ need more, need full power, then you can get your more supplies out. Uh, now it's, because it's not at full power, it also will not give a maximum supplies. I think it means that this HQ will only give maximum six supply out, but you could get the eight if you fix it to maximum. I'm not more sure how they write it, what they mean it is a 8 because of the city and now the HQ would give a 6 because normally if the HQ is at maximum you will get 10 supplies right okay um this can also be reinforced good good nothing is lost so far this is most important only hold the border towns Good, I can walk it down. And maybe next turn I can take the oil back. And this was done. Oh yeah, then I'm done already. So I think more is not to do for me today. Yo, 
Then let's finish. I have still some money, but not really much. So I keep it like this. Then let's finish the turn. Some boost for Germany. Ah, yeah, and uh, this is some special rules. If you come close to this uh, fortress cities, and I think you have two or three of your own units nearby, then you will create damage to the garrison. Ah, yeah, this is uh, once event, I think. The Americans yeah, won't enter the war a little faster. The Italy is still calling for war. Italy prepare for war. The submarines arrive in Stettin. This was the choice. You can send them to Stettin. So next turn arriving here. Or if you wait one more turn, then they arrive in the Mediterranean. Uh, yeah, Germany gets some boost for the fighter development. Trench Warfare 1, always good. Gets in shell production, so it means not only one shell per turn, getting second shell. Trench Warfare for Austria is also fine. Good. Not bad. Good, my sub intercepted here some British ships. Yeah. Now I lose my destroyer. But the uh, British light cruiser, I think one in. My battle cruiser. Yeah, my sub can escape so far. It's a Brit, you know, the French, they're trying to get rid of this Austrian submarine. Oh, airstrike. This was, I think, a German light cruiser. Oh no, they're finding my... Oh, luckily they don't take my tender. Ah, uh, yeah, they won't finish off my dreadnought. Ooh! Heavy losses, my battle cruiser just sank. And now my dreadnought. Yeah. Yeah. The big question is if this is still a successful operation for me. Losing two capital ships. Yeah, it's simply too expensive to really build them in the game and the reinforcements Germany get is so small, I think one or two battle cruisers and one or two dreadnoughts in all of the war compared to much more what the British receive. Ah, 
So my fight is intercept. Yeah, at least they try. Okay, now the digging in means there is normally nothing more coming. Yeah. So Italy will enter war now. So Germany lost one destroyer, one light cruiser, one battle cruiser, and one dreadnought. Yeah, destroyer and light cruiser. I don't care so much. Battle cruiser and dreadnought is of course not so bad. And Italy still only call for war, but not enter the war. Looks like. Okay. Then I have one more turn. Austria get reinforcements, they broke and I think they destroyed Corp just in time. So I can put them maybe here. Uh oh. So that was the turn. Some success but also some losses. German morale is still at 103%, so Nothing is lost. Austria is with 96, only lightly damaged, and Ottomans with 99, also not really suffering. Uh, we can still not enter the war. Russians is already 79, Serbia is 75, but not really big change more. Italy is close. Yeah, well, maybe next one I think they will enter. French at 90%, and the British have suffer, I think, mainly because of the high losses at sea. Uh, some morale. I'm not more sure if you reports. Here was this. So here you have a report. Über this is a the units. So you German have fifty eight land units, but they belong HQ detachment corps artillery all together. So the Russian army is still bigger than the German and the Austrian army is just barely strong like UK but weaker than the French and the Ottoman is a little weaker than the Austrians but uh, then there is here still Serbia with 13 Italy with 7 but they still don't enter the war and 2 for America so you can see that this 3 together is for sure weaker than the Entente here is maybe barely the same, no big change. And Navy, now 24 German f fleet units against 26 UK fleet units. And the French Navy is more or less the same like the Austrian. And especially because the Ottomans are still five strong. So uh, and the Russians are normally blocked. The Russians cannot really go out. Uh, so, if the Ottomans and the Austrian Ottomans together catch the French, 
And the Germans must only fight with the British, and the Russians simply only can watch and see what is happening. Good. Uh, and the losses in numbers. We have here the, title, the numbers uh, written down. So French lost already 11 corps plus 4 British corps, 3 Serbia, 15 Russians. And Central Paulo only lost 3. Most important is, uh, but more or less, uh, because the PC or AI get additional money. So they can, and most of these units are half price to rebuild. So keep this in mind. Uh, it's cheaper for them to rebuy or pre-purchase units. So Navy units is like one, 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 one. So far Germany lost uh, one Dreadnought, one Battle Cruiser, one Light Cruiser, and have and the destroyer. So in the French lost two destroyers, the British lost four destroyers, so four to one kill ratio, three light cruiser for the British, three dreadnoughts and one pre-dreadnought. I think a kill ratio of three to one is okay. If you have a kill ratio of two to one, then it's really only a tactical victory but not a strategic victory. Then the allies have still more ships than you. Yeah, good. I know, they can also have here the, the graphic. So you can also have here more information. How is MVP changing income spent and lost units? Uh, and how this have... You, you can check this all, but I think it's not really too important. You can more or less say, if you lose more in a turn than you earn, then you have a negative income. So you will, you, in your presence on the map is weaker. So at this one turn, the British lost more or less equipment, Navy equipment mostly, for nearly 1,000, well, over 1,600 MPP points. But they only get roughly maybe 300 MPP per turn. This is how you can read it. And for me, it was more or less that so far I always, I, what I sp earn, I spend many times, but only very small peaks over my income. Only this last turn has cost me also a lot of money. But of course, it's all land, air, and sea. Good. And see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.